What's up guys, Sal here. So every version of Samsung's main flagships have two different processors and which one you'll get depends on where you live. And it isn't something they've been doing recently. Samsung has been dual sourcing chipsets going as far back as the Galaxy Note 3 which debuted back in 2013. The upcoming Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra will also have two different processors. The US, China and Canada will get the newly announced Snapdragon 865 Plus processor which by the way is the first mobile chipset to surpass the 3GHz CPU clock speed ceiling. Not only that but it also offers a 10% increase in both CPU and GPU speeds compared to the Snapdragon 865 which was released earlier this year with the Galaxy S20 family. So folks over at the US will get a faster and improved Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra. But the rest of the world will have to deal with an inferior product yet again. Earlier there were rumors that Samsung will equip a new 6 nanometer Exynos 992 processor on the Galaxy Note 20 to compensate for the performance disparity we had with the Galaxy S20 variants where the difference between the Exynos and Snapdragon models of the S20 was about 20%. But it looks like the new Exynos chipset is not happening. IC Universe tweeted that Samsung will continue with the Exynos 990 processor in the Galaxy Note 20. No, please, please don't say that. Max Weinbach also confirmed that there are no references to any new chipset in the firmware except the Snapdragon 865 Plus and hence the Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra will use Exynos 990. This is bad, I mean really bad because the performance disparity on the Note 20 variants between the Exynos and Snapdragon will further increase compared to the S20 where it was 20%. Now on the Note 20 it may even go up to 30%. That's huge, that's the type of difference you would expect from a mid-ranger and a high-end flagship. I really don't understand what's going on in Samsung's mind. How do they even think that selling the same handset for the same price but one with an inferior performance is even fair to their consumers? People were already mad about the disparity on the S20 but now this is taking it to another level. This is only acceptable if they sell the Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra at cheaper prices to the Exynos regions compared to the United States but I'm pretty sure that's not gonna happen either. Now if you're still not furious with this news, I have another one that will surely make you lose your nerves. Apparently the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra that Jimmy has doesn't support 120Hz at Quad HD Plus resolution. You can only use it at Full HD Plus and if you want Quad HD Plus you need to turn down the refresh rate to 60Hz just like the Galaxy S20. Jimmy says the Note 20 Ultra that he has is on a pre-release software so there is a possibility that Samsung may add the support for Quad HD Plus at 120Hz in the final retail version. Anyway we have live pictures of the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus thanks to the certification authority Safety Korea's website. It looks exactly like the renders we saw a few weeks ago. Not only that but we also have the official press renders of the Galaxy Buds Beans which is one of the weirdest wearables I've seen so far. Samsung will offer it in three color variants including that metallic bronze. These will have active noise cancellation something we don't have on the Galaxy Buds Plus. The rumored price for this is $150 cheaper than the Buds Plus. Of course with that being said for all the latest updates on the Galaxy Note 20 please be sure to subscribe and as always I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.